Hello, my friends, and welcome to another fucking episode of Aggressive Pogo here in the Great League. Just want to give you guys a heads up. I am holding another raffle, giving away one of my Aggressive Pogo tote bags. If you are interested in entering this raffle, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and comment done under this video, and I will add you uh, to the raffle. Love you guys. Enjoy these battles. Hopping into the first battle. Man, Grand Bull has been such a lifesaver for me because I'm sick of the fucking dark Pokemon, of Umbreons, of Metachams, of the Mandibuzzes. Well, Metacham's not dark, but just the meta in general, I'm sick of it. And at least Grand Bull can chip away at anything. A Pelipper, a Lantern, a Noctowl, a Metacham, it chips away. And even if I give it a shield or two, at least the enemy that I'm not able to handle with whatever team I have, his health is gone by at least 80% by the time Gramble's done. So, you probably saw this match on my Instagram, but this is the full set of battles. Hope you guys really enjoy this because I thoroughly enjoyed this team. Cradilly on the lead has been making me so happy. I've been bumping into Swampert, even Galarian Stunfisk. The only thing I really don't want to see up against this Cradilly is probably an Obama Snow, which I am seeing, but not as often. Obama Snow can be a problem, maybe even Bastiodon, but the Grass Knots are doing a good amount of damage, and he's able to tank moves. I can tank Sky Attacks, I can tank Earthquakes and still get to two moves against Galarian Stunfisk. Cradilly has really been setting the tone for the lead Pokemon, man, I have to say. And of course, to close out, Shadow Gliscor is a menace with the Earthquake against those Registeels or against anything up a shield, it is just a beast. Up against this Lantern, and I'm being patient, knowing my opponent's gonna swap out to try and catch that Grass Knot. And look, ladies and gentlemen, the Metacham is coming in, and Gramble doesn't give a fuck. Who let the motherfucking dogs out? Noctowl coming in. I'm throwing the close combat, hoping he doesn't shield, but he does. And just look at Noctowl's health. He's already below 50%. And we're shield for shield. It's perfect. I'm getting to the Stone Edge before he even gets to throw a move. And it takes out the Noctowl and my opponent calls it quits. That is a G fucking G to that opponent. I love this team, dude. It's so good. So much fun to play with. Even when uh, you take some L's, which, you know, does happen with every single team you play. Um, this team is just so much fun. Cradilly, ends of the Pelipper. All right, we're going to farm up. And I'm probably going to over farm just a little bit. Or even to the stone edge, just to see what my opponent plans to do. And he baits me with a weather ball. Throwing the grass knot. Probably going to get a shield right back. And at this point, there's no way that's a hurricane. It was too quick. And it's just another weather ball. Getting to the second grass knot. Does my opponent use his last shield? And he does. Let's fucking go. Bringing in the beautiful Gramble to farm this bitch down. Tanking one weather ball. Farming him down. And I'm probably not going to be able to get to a move against this Ampharos. And I do not. Who do I come in with here? I bring in the Gradilli again. And I just want this Ampharos to throw its energy. And I'm up a shield with the Gliscor. And I'm thinking I can take anything on. And I probably should have went for the Earthquake here. But I didn't want to give Metacham a chance to get to the second Ice Punch. So I'm going to go straight for the Nice Slash. Hoping for a boost. But I didn't get it. Ice Punch coming through. I'm able to over farm so much. And I don't think Ampharos has any energy. And I'm hoping he isn't able to get to a move. But he is. And it's probably a Thunder Punch, but it's a Brutal Swing, and Gliscor hangs on. I get to the Earthquake, and this will faint my opponent, and that is a G fucking G. Let's go, baby. As you can see how much fun this team is to use, and even when those Altarias are in the lead, I can take a Sky Attack with the Cradilly. I can try to fake the uh, Stone Edge and throw the Grass Knot, hopefully get a shield. And even if I fake it, and try to bait the grass knot i still get to a stone edge before my opponent tries to either farm me down or get to another move with the altaria it's insane okay this battle was a little frustrating galarian stunfisk coming back in and i should be able to tank a rock slide no problem tanking the rock slide trying to get to the earthquake but i don't debating whether to shield but i let it through 
and Gliscor goes down. And I'm realigning my Credilly with the Scalarian Stunfisk. And look how much damage that's doing. And here, at this point, I really didn't know what to do. I probably should have farmed up just a little more before swapping out. My opponent's getting to a move. I'm going to shield whatever it is. And it's a flash cannon, so thank God I fucking shield. And I'm able to farm all the way down. My opponent still has a two-shielded Galarian Stunfisk in red health. And I don't throw a move, ladies and gentlemen. Ugh. And I don't think it matters because I have to get to two grass knots here anyway to win. And I'm not able to. And my opponent takes the W. And that was a good game. I had to over farm the Skarmory with my Credilly to win that game. And that's why I lost. Now that I'm re-watching it, I'm learning my mistakes. It's a beautiful thing. Into the fifth and final match, Credilly into Swamper. I'm telling you, I am winning these leads. And my opponent brings in an Alolan Ninetales. I'm bringing in my Gramble. I'm sneaking a charm through because my opponent throws mistimed and i'm able to farm all the way down and get to a move throwing the move up against whatever's coming in and it looked like an umbreon but my opponent still shielding the crunch and we get a debuff let's go glyscore coming in and i'm going straight to the earthquake i can't afford to get a bait wrong and umbreon is super tanky so i don't expect them to shield experiencing a little lag and the earthquake lands almost leaving at umbreon at like three health two health the swamp birds coming back in and it's probably just a hydro cannon but i don't want to tank the earthquake if it is and it's a hydro cannon i'm throwing the grass knot but my opponent wins cmp with a fucking hydro cannon damn it and i'm getting to the grass knot and this will one shot but my opponent shields and i'm going straight for another grass knot does he shield he has no shields, <laughs> and I farmed down the Umbreon. That's a G fucking G. I hope you enjoyed these battles. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Turn on those notifications so you know when these updates are coming, when these videos are dropping, and when the raffles will start and end. Hit that like button, and I will release more info on the raffle. It will probably be ending in a week. So uh, if you need more information, hit me up on Instagram, at aggressivepogo. And we're going to set this whole thing up. I love you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you in the next one.